Welcome to episode one of our van build series. We are so excited to bring you guys this. We have had so many DMs, so many messages so from many. you all after being on channel five asking, where can we see how you actually built the whole inside? I want to see more than just the sun deck. So yes, this is the beginning of it right here. This is going to be a little bit different to any of the van build series that you may have already watched because we now live in our van. Um, we have have done for the last six months we lived in it full time and we've traveled to seven countries around Europe you can see some of them above our heads here we have done 4,000 miles in it in the last three months wasn't it yeah how insane we were a little bit like we weren't sure whether to put our van build up because when we videoed it we weren't as confident on the camera we didn't film certain parts of it well um but we youtube went... wasn't like new youtube was really new to us wasn't it yeah. like we, we didn't even go on youtube we did it just for our own sort of remembrance of so how we, we did it back. but we've gone through the footage and we're like no do you know what we want to be able to bring you our van build series we want you to see that anybody can do this you don't need to be experienced we definitely didn't do everything perfectly no, we'd love really. to be able to talk about things that we'd maybe do differently as well um, and just show you that it is possible and also show you what we've learned doing it you learn so much off youtube watching other people how they do it so yeah and there's never like one way to build a van that's what's amazing yeah like, every van build is different so we just want to show you how we did ours like sam said not everything we did is by the the book and absolutely amazing but we're happy with it yeah absolutely and we're going to try and make sure that we be as informative as possible we'll share any links and descriptions with you in the comments so that you can go ahead and buy what we brought for the yeah. van build um and yeah just kind of um give you as much information as possible and if you do have any comments like any questions on how we have built something mm -hmm. or where we got something from just drop it down in the comments and we cannot wait to be answering them we love helping other people out absolutely and we're very very excited going back through this footage and seeing just how far we came from the day we brought yeah. that back i mean let's talk about the day we brought it home so i came home back from a drill night and i was like sam be open-minded but i think i have found the van um bit of a dodgy paintwork on it i wasn't sure on the color if she'd be sold but i showed her the very next day. We actually had never heard of this van before, had we, previous to that? No, I had a mechanic mate. He was like, have you ever looked at an LT35? Um, I was like, no, what is that? So yeah, this is a LT35 X minibus, 2.5 TDI diesel engine in it. It's just over 100,000 miles and it was a bargain. I looked at it and it does look very similar to a Sprinter. Um, a lot of the things they that you buy- They are based on the same, I yeah, think, yeah. They're exactly the same. So I looked at it and I was like, actually, like this is basically like a Sprinter. It's got all the windows in anyway, because it was an X minibus. And it was like a third of the price yeah. of what all the sprinters were that we were looking for. Um, so I highly, highly recommend that if you are looking for a van build to check out VW LT35. There's loads of groups on Facebook, which obviously since I've had one, I've been in now. And so many people rave about them. People have done amazing jobs with their vans. Mm -hmm. So yeah, 100% highly recommend the vans. And we drove five hours to go <laughs> and get this bad boy. Um, but we absolutely fell in love with it. We yeah. took it on a little cheeky test drive. Here we are test driving the new minibus and we think we think we think it all depends we on might place. go for it how's it feeling drives it's all right it's all right it's a little bit getting used to it needed. how big it is back there oh fucking hell just broke windscreen wiper oh the, the windscreen wiper's Fuck. just broke little bit of haggling and yes we got it for a good price so we are absolutely buzzing it is in mint condition low mileage we're so, so yeah. excited we're super excited just want to start the build now and before you know it we were back to the workshop where chris works back in tavistock and we started to rip it out we started to rip out all of the x minibus the seats and everything sam could not wait to get our hands on that sam was piling down the panels you were just proper getting involved wasn't it? Oh, i think I you couldn't enjoyed wait. that bit. i couldn't wait to get started it was so spontaneous we did not know at that point guys that we would be living in it full no. time quitting our jobs um that just kind of came from 
it but we're excited to share the story with you especially from when we got it all the way to where we are right yeah. now uh, be patient with us because our video and <laughs> skills weren't amazing there will be times that we'll be jumping into the present day just to be able yeah. to inform you a little bit more just so that we can help describe how things happened but we are so so excited for this series we really really hope you enjoy it so let's get to the build yo one chair baby The wheelchair lift was not easy to get out and was a lot heavier than it looked. There were roughly 14 bolts securing it down and they were all super rusty so in the end we had to cut them, drill them, do whatever we could to get them off the bus. We used a lifting trolley to get the chair out of the bus and fortunately we were able to sell it on to someone else. Floor is coming out! We have to undo every single screw, take all these screws out, and then we have access to the proper floor underneath. Watch the window. I would have gone out the back door. Sam's gone out the front door. Love and life. See the stay in my hands. Bad. I mean, love for that. <laughs> That's good. Have you seen that? That's like work. That's like workman's hands now. You I know mean, what it's I like. Have my hands so dirty in my life, <laughs> and they're cut to shreds. <laughs> hey. No pain, no gain, so they say. We have officially got the floor up. What a dog it was. There was three layers of floor, over 200 screws to get up and get it out. So that was an absolute pain in the ass. But we've got it up now. There's loads of holes in the floor, but the rust is actually not looking too bad. I was preparing myself for a lot worse. So we're literally gonna rub all the rust down just around the holes and then we can get some filler for tomorrow and fill all the holes in, then underseal the bottom and then we are ready for the installation. Probably one of the worst ones, so we are happy. That's not too bad, it's all surface rust. So now, it's time for me. Okay, so we are day three working on the van and I am doing the sound deadening, is that what you call it? Yep, sound deadening. Sound deadening. This bad boy, the sun is out. Oh my God, it makes us so excited to get this done. What is that smell? Uh, hard enough, uh, not hard enough, um, filler. Filler, so you're now going to fill in all the holes. Away? Yeah, without getting away from <laughs> Oh, you come here with me. That's it. Let's let him do his filling. You going to sit on my lap? Yeah. Sit on my lap. So he's going to do all the filling of the holes. All of these nice holes along the van. And I'm gonna do this to the whole of the van. Let's go. So 
So guys, today's task has been to, we've painted all the floor, as in like painted all the uh, rust spots and things like that. Now Sam is starting to lay the insulation, which we are then going to put the plyboard on. My hands are filthy again. Not good. But yeah, we're going to put the plyboard on because we haven't gone for the batten and insulation way because we might lose a bit too much on the height. So we're going to make full advantage of some nice thick insulation on the floor, 15mm plywood and then our 12mm um, flooring on top of that. So yeah, it's going to be a productive evening. We have a toilet, the most important thing in the van. We just need to build the rest of the bus now around that toilet. Well, we're thinking we've got a toilet there, we can shower. So we should be able to turn. I think that turns, don't we? I think that swivels. So you yeah. should be able to like, turn to the side when you're showering so you've got a bit more space. So where are you going to be showering to? We're going to be showering about here, aren't you, really? The shower's going to come to probably where there's holes are. This side of the window, maybe. Can get a little bit in. So you shower here. I think it'll be alright. And this is the fan! New fan fitted yesterday. Are we happy with it? We are. Looks decent. Looks nice. Just got to do another one now. Yeah, do another one at the back. And then um, job's good. Put another one in here. Next is running all the cables. Find out where we want everything. Let's do this. How's it going? Good. We're yeah? ready to mount it on. As you saw from the last clip, you saw me fit in the Max Air fans. We went for two in the van, one above like the living area and one above the bed in the back. One in the living area and the kitchen just to help draw some of the um, cooking smoke and steam and all that out. And one above the bed just to keep us cool. Uh, they were an absolute game changer when we were travelling across Europe. Uh, fitting them was really, really easy. They come with a template, so you literally mark a pen out your four holes, drill through. I went through with the 12 mil drill in each corner and then went through with a metal bladed jigsaw and cut the square out. And literally, you just fit it in and then I think there's about 14 screws around the outside to secure it down. And then, yeah, loads and loads of silicone on the top. It doesn't matter how it looks, as long as you keep the water out of there. That is the main thing. And then it comes with this really handy interior bit, which makes it all look nice. Put it up against your cladding. So, yeah. I thought these were amazing. I know they're quite a bit of money, but they were a lifesaver when we were on the road. You can buy the Max Air fans in most places online. Uh, I'll ping a link down below where we got ours. But yeah, now let's get back to the build. We used Killmat to sound in the bus. This helps reduce the amount of noise that comes from the bus whilst driving. Once this was applied, we could then start insulating the bus. For this, we used recycled plastic which came in rolls. We stuffed this into all cavities within the bus. And to keep it in place and prevent it from getting wet, we used insulation foil along with 100mm wide insulation tape. We definitely underestimated how much of this stuff we needed, so be sure to stock up when starting your build. No, we must be on like day 10. 10? Day 10 of building this bus. How you finding it, babe? I love it. I love it. Finish today's work, carry on working. What's there not to love? And where are we at? We are at fitting the bed. Bed's on, slats. Still got to fit the slats and that. But I'm just putting the last bar in now, rivet that one onto the um, side of the bus, and we will have a bed frame ready for the mattress to arrive. And I've been working on the insulating for about three weeks. <laughs> Don't you reckon? <laughs> Actually about three All weeks. All of this insulating 
for about three weeks yep. trying to make it into a spaceship and I'm still going. I've got so many paper cuts on my hand. It's unbelievable. I can't wait to get some painting done. Just start, start making it look it a little bit nice now, you know? You're ready for the tarting. We're nowhere near the tarting. Well, we'll it's be just... applying next. Applying is the next job. So I'm right. just insulating for weeks and weeks and weeks. So, next job, please. So, basically, you're bored? No, I just I don't want any more paper cuts on my hand. Fair one. Because, I mean, I'm going to run out of space for paper cuts in a minute. Fletcher is Sounded. asleep on the insulation that he I'm meant to be it. using. And he's asleep. So yeah, day 10, I think. Summer. Still going. Hi. We're still married. Just. It's going good. And we're still married. Just about still married. <laughs> Oh my god, I hope you enjoyed the first episode of our van series. So, uh, so far we have taken you through ripping it out, insulating it, or sound deadening it first, then insulation, and fitting the Max Air fans. That floor, can I just say, I've never been so grateful for our floor right now. Like, watching yeah. back how hard it was to get that floor up. By the way, if you do build just a normal works van, you're not going to have that issue. We just had an X mini bus. <laughs> So it had all of that flooring in to hold the seats in the back. Um, it was really cool. Those aluminium rails were actually really cool. So you could move yeah. the seats around wherever you wanted. So it was awesome. We could have kept it, but we just didn't need it. No. So if you do buy an X minibus and you want to get that floor up, it is hard work. But it's definitely, definitely worth Absolutely, it. Absolutely, yeah. Um, but yeah, we hope you enjoyed the first episode. If you do have any questions about what we use or anything that we did, please make sure you meet us in the comments. We would love to help you. And we're also going to be able to put all the links for anything that we brought yeah. within this um, episode in the description so you can go and get yourself some of it too. So if you did enjoy this one please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because it does help us massively and it helps everyone else who are doing van builds. Yeah we really really are so excited for you to be here. We're excited to watch this van build series yeah. unfold and we'll see you next time guys. See ya!